Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. So this week we're going to be talking about Elon Musk and Twitter. Elon Musk now owns Twitter, and he brought back many accounts, including President Trump's. So much so that as I'm recording the podcast, I hear there's a rumor that President Trump is considering returning to Twitter. So, people are talking about, is Elon Musk pro-free speech? Definitely is, he's bringing back accounts. And he made a poll about bringing it back, uh, making amnesty for all banned accounts. That those that didn't break the law or agree just ban. I'm very skeptical. Why are you skeptical? Well, this past, uh, I think it was Tuesday, a week ago. Leftism for you, an account that points out leftist uh, hip- hypocrisy. Uh, lunacy tweeted out a fact that trans women are not women and trans men are not men. It's a fact. I, whether you want to play around and see if it's right or if it's wrong, it's a fact. Let's not hide from the fact. So, leftism for you tweeted out. And what happened? They got locked out. Someone called Rachel Levine, Mr. Levine, account locked like that. And then Elon starts talking about <clears throat> misinformation. He wants Twitter to be the sole arbiter of truth. The source of accurate news. Who decides what accurate news is? We can't go back to this. Twitter is not the arbiter of truth. Fact checkers are not the arbiter of truth. You know who the arbiter of truth are? We go. When I do a roundup, I gotta face my own problems. I gotta say that, look, I've verified it to the most of my ability, message this people, this person, this person, this person, and I do top stories, and I make sure that to the best of my ability, but you, the viewer, can always go through my uh, videos and go through everything and make sure that it's true. And again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not infallible. I can make a mistake. I'm human. But Twitter cannot ban people for being misinformation, for spreading misinformation. Misinformation is not done by Twitter. And I don't ban people for saying something's not true. I don't ban people from, I just don't put it in my roundup. And you could go to New York Times, you could go to CNN. I'm not telling you don't go to CNN. That's a whole other topic about how we take away uh, the mainstream media title for them. But that's up to you, not me. So, uh, not me. I can't block people from going there. You can't ban someone for misinformation. Then comes the next thing. We are now talking about hate speech. Hate speech will be de-boosted to the max and blocked to the max and you're going to be shadow bound and all that. What is hate speech? If it's not calling for violence, then you can't get banned for that. That's not freedom of speech. Elon Musk is a, is a free speech absolutist. He's a free speech absolutist that talks about banning or shadow banning hate speech. Really? What is that? What is that? How can you be pro free speech and ban hate speech? Again, Elon, do you have any answers for me? You're more than welcome to come to the show or even message me on Twitter via DMs. I have questions and again, I want you to succeed. I want Twitter to be pro free speech. Twitter has the best reach. Trump has 80 million followers on Twitter versus 4 million on True Social. I mean, seriously, I would want Twitter to succeed. I want Twitter to be pro-free speech. I want things to go back to the way they should be. I want Twitter to be the place that it once was. I want everyone to be able to have freedom of speech. Unless, you're obviously, you're calling for violence, unless you're doxing somebody, unless you're saying someone should be killed. No matter who's saying anyone should be killed, the person on the left and the person on the right, you don't say people should get killed. You don't do that. So, Elon, I want you to succeed. I really am a big fan of you succeeding. I support you all the way. But you have to have answers for me. How do you define hate speech? This is insanity. How do you define hate speech? Hate speech is not I hate someone, it's an emotion. You can hate someone. Now, saying that Jews control something, that's not 
hate speech. I mean, it is hate speech because it's not true. But again, let the people decide for themselves that it's not true. It's not up to Twitter to ban someone for saying something that's true, not true because it's hate speech. Again, it's not up to Twitter. Elon, if you have answers, hit me up via DMs. Hit me up via my email. My email's public. Let's make a podcast happen. Let's make a anything happen. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you off the record, on the record, whatever you want, Elon. It's up to you. Again, I doubt Elon's going to be watching this podcast, but I want answers. The people deserve answers. Elon talks about being transparent. Let's make transparency real. Now, let's say Elon does have answers, which I sure hope he does. The war for free speech is not on. It's actually just beginning. The law of the land is that the First Amendment is the First Amendment. But when our government starts talking about misinformation, that is a violation of the First Amendment. We need to strengthen our First Amendment. We need to take it up with our politicians. We need to talk to people on the right, on people on the left, and make sure that no one makes any laws about misinformation, disinformation, or hate speech. Nobody attacks Elon for trying to make hate, uh, hate speech free. No one attacks Elon for saying that no one decides what misinformation is besides for the human, the regular citizen. No one is allowed to do that. But the war is just beginning. People, you have to call your senators, your House representatives, and make sure that they know that when they swear to uphold the Constitution, that is a uh, that is Binding. And if they don't, they get removed from office. It's that simple. The Constitution is binding. And you have to swear to uphold the Constitution. I don't know why I have to say this. Is regular ABCs. Seriously, people. This cannot be up for discussion. The war is just beginning. We need to call our senators, our House representatives, and make sure that they know this. You know, I'm a big fan of Getter. Why are you talking about Getter when we're all talking about Twitter now? It's very simple. There's a lot of, you know, interesting things going on in Brazil. Brazil's superior electoral court sent a notice to Getter that they have to ban someone. Because they're the danger to society. Jason Miller said, excuse me, I'm fighting for free speech. I'm not going to listen to your thing. I'm going to appeal and appeal, even though it's only one person. I'm going to appeal and appeal and, and appeal until we get it over. He's working with lawyers. He's going and putting out statements, and he is fighting to the max just for this one official that get it, that uh, Brazil wants banned. Because they really support free speech. Free speech is absolute. And we have to make sure that it saves absolute. Rumble was told, in order for you to work in France, you need to stop uh, allowing Russian folks, or I don't remember exactly what it was, and what did Rumble say? Sorry, our servers are no longer working in France. We don't abide by your rules. We don't do this. We, we're not into this. Sorry, enough is enough. Free speech is free speech. We support free speech. We stick to our word. So, everyone, again, Elon, I would love to have answers to your questions. The war is just beginning, and let's do this. Quick update, Truth Social. Truth Social is a great platform. I want it to succeed. I want every platform that is pro-free speech to succeed, and I want this to go. But I have a job to do a review. Today, I am sending an email today on Monday. Uh, November 27th, I am sending an email to Truth Social, their press team, their support team, their privacy team, and I'm giving them a week from today to give me the answers to my review, and then whether or not they give me the answers or not, I will uh, put out a review, rate them on whether they answered or not, how their platform works, their censorship, their non-censorship, I will rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, 
And then also I will do a video which will get posted, I don't know where, probably on Rumble, uh, I mean on Truth Social itself. And that's what I would do. Thank you very much for listening to this week's podcast. And make sure to hold everyone accountable and make sure free speech is really absolute. Thank you very much.